What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical average American here today to react and learn about some of the dumbest things that Americans have ever said to Norwegians. Today, I want to take another look at this Reddit discussion where somebody asked, what is the dumbest thing that an American has ever said to you as a Norwegian? And uh, as painful as it is <laughs> for me to hear some of these, I thought it would be fun to take another look and see some of the top answers and comments that Norwegians have said here in this discussion. So, let's take a look. <laughs> oh boy. Dumbest things Americans have said to Norwegians, starting with, I live in northern Norway, where we have midnight sun and the most beautiful northern lights. As a teen, I was working at a mall when a lovely American lady was buying something. Okay, sounds pretty innocent so far. We were talking a bit about the culture when she told me that this was her once-in-a-lifetime trip and asked where I could recommend going to have the most scenic view of the northern lights and the midnight sun at the same time in August. In August, we have neither. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's so bad. Oh, I actually feel kind of bad for this American. Uh, this was her um, once-in-a-lifetime trip to Norway, her only trip to Norway, and this American didn't even bother to look up when you can see the northern lights in midnight sun? That is, what a huge mistake. That's so awkward that she asked that as well. Oh no, in August you don't have either. Oh no. That is, that's just really poor planning. Oh no. Oh, uh, what else? The dumbest thing I've ever heard was an American vet who was of the opinion that our Norwegian social welfare system was a joke. What? And that he would rather have private insurance? Oh my god. This is the dumbest thing ever. What is he talking about? Ah, because then I can get mine. I can get mine. And I proceeded to ask him how he thinks veterans benefits works. He was a dum-dum. Yeah, that's right. In America, you can get government benefits being a military veteran. So I don't even know what he's talking about. Just the fact that uh, this was an American who thought that the Norwegian welfare system and uh, like social welfare systems are dumb. I don't get it. I don't know. I think this is some of the dumbest things Americans say and like Americans, <laughs> like with our healthcare system as well, like, oh my gosh. Yeah, and it's very hypocritical because as a veteran in America, you get welfare and benefits and I don't, oh man, this is, <laughs> this is always painful for me to read these and it's like, I don't know what's wrong with Americans. Um, my brother met a crazy American that claimed that he and his people should stop what they are doing. This crazy American said that Norwegians should stop doing what they're doing. What, he asked. The terrorism. I am Norwegian. I am not a terrorist. You are not a Norwegian. You are too tall and too pale to be a Norwegian? They come from Africa and they're very short? What is this... What is this guy talking about? For one thing, sounds like he's kind of saying something really racist about terrorists and Africa. But putting that aside, he's telling a Norwegian that, oh, you're not Norwegian. For one thing, just to have the complete audacity to, to say that, to say, oh, you're lying, you're not Norwegian. You're too tall and too pale? <laughs> Norwegians are, like, known for being tall. Um, 
geography is not a strength in the United States. Yeah, seriously, uh, this American sounds extra dumb, but also in general, it's true. Uh, Americans are very, 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 very bad at geography, but we also say really, we say stuff really cocky and confidently, even though we don't know anything about it. Like what happened here? I, do, I don't know. <sighs> a friend of my father had to defend his presentation in the United States of a troll platform. It's an oil platform. Uh, the professor he argued with claimed that this platform is a lie. No one makes taller buildings than the United States. This guy actually said that this oil platform that's 472 meters tall is a lie because no one can make a building taller than the United States can? That is... Wow. How, man, a lot of these, um, a lot of these stories of the dumbest things Americans have said to Norwegians are Americans acting very cocky, like talking like we know everything, which is very, very hypocritical and silly because oftentimes Americans are very, very sheltered and, uh, don't know much about other countries, actually, uh. But we act like we do, apparently. Oh my gosh, it's... Oh boy. Uh, this happened to a friend of mine. He got asked by an American visiting Oslo, Did you guys have the same problem with the Vikings as we had with the Native Americans? Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> he... He thinks that uh, Norwegians had to conquer Norway from the Vikings? Kind of like how Americans took the United States from Native Americans. Uh, <laughs> this, this is, again, like a perfect example of like Americans have no shame. Like are willing to ask any question, no matter how silly, no matter how, how ignorant. Uh, uh, at least they were asking a question instead of like presuming to know the answer. At least they were asking. I mean... <laughs> I had a similar experience, only with the American thinking that Norway must be either a part of Spain or a neighbor to Spain. Why? Oh, man, why are we so bad at geography? I mean, don't get me wrong. As an American myself, I'm not good at geography, but I keep my mouth shut. I don't, I don't pretend to, to know where every country is. Why would you, why would you insist Norway is part of Spain? Every country I listed to explain where Norway was situated was, was met with, but is it a part of Spain? <laughs> Sorry, I guess uh, Norway is part of Spain now. This, this American has decided. Her understanding was that Spain was in Europe. So everything in Europe must be part of Spain or next to Spain. Oh my gosh. She did not try to argue like your example. She was just confused. This was in Miami. Okay, this work this woman was working in a Burger King um, with only a drive through checkout. And we liked to walk around. We walked up to her window and asked if we could order without a car. She said, no, I don't know. <laughs> she, she had no idea how to react or if she was allowed to serve us. We had to beg to buy some burgers. This <laughs> this was in an American fast food Burger King window where you're, you're supposed to drive up with your car and order your food through a window in the, in the building. And uh, these Norwegians just walked up to the window and asked to order. And she said no. <laughs> that, honestly, that might say something about Americans like... <laughs> it's, it's true. We do get confused about people walking places. Um, actually, if someone walked up to a, a window at Burger King or fast food window in America, that, that would be considered very, very strange. I've never seen anyone do that. That's actually super Norwegian. <laughs> but, 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 uh, they should still serve you. 
They should. If you want to walk up to the window, why not? They should still serve you. Why not? <laughs> That's funny, though. My husband and I spoke with an American couple sitting next to us at a restaurant in Rome. They were in their 60s. They were planning a road trip through Europe, but didn't want to travel to Norway because it was so socialist. What is with this? What is with Americans, like, obsessed with this word socialism and evil socialism? And they also don't believe us that we said the nature was pretty and almost pitied us, it seemed. What? What? Oh, my. We, well, you know what? Joke's on them. Joke's on them because they, they are so dumb. They didn't even have the open-mindedness to to go listen to you and go to Norway. I don't want to go to Norway because it's so socialist. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And they don't believe that it's pretty. Well, that's, that's extra funny to me because I have seen YouTube videos of Norway and the nature compared to America is ridiculous. Unbelievable beauty in Norwegian nature. Maybe the most beautiful in the world. So these, oh my God, this American couple, you know what, whatever, joke's on them. They didn't get to experience it. Um, <laughs> I should mention that this man uh, proudly declared that he did not have anything against the blacks, that their gardener was black. The Mexicans, however, oh my God. And it's also the, uh, the racism as well, the, the, the American racism coming through. Whew. Okay, let's keep going here. These are, I swear, these are painful for me. Because uh, <laughs> I, I have to live amongst these people. Um, <laughs> it is kind of funny, though, these stories. I was studying in the U.S. Midwest. Several local students with a Norwegian immigrant great-grandmother or great-grandfather who told me I was wrong about something about Norway based on what their dead relative had passed down. So this was a Norwegian in the United States, and there was an American student with a Norwegian immigrant great-grandma, and he was saying, I know more about Norway than you, because my great-grandma is Norwegian. Even though this, this person is literally a Norwegian from Norway. The weirdest one was the guy who absolutely insisted there is only one type of lefse. What is a lefse? It's a food. It is a traditional Norwegian flatbread. Okay. <laughs> they insisted there's only one type of lefse. Since my grandmother made several different kinds, I didn't agree with this. But I wasn't terribly invested. But this guy upset and wanted to have a whole argument. Ugh, why? You know what keeps happening in this discussion? It's a, it's a lot of Americans telling Norwegians that they are wrong about things about Norway, which is just crazy. Crazy that these Americans think they know more about Norway than, than a Norwegian. I got out of the conversation as soon as possible. I did not talk to him again. Another person wanted to correct my pronunciation. They do not realize that dialects exist and have changed in the last 150 years. Oh my gosh, exactly. Either way, I'm not having an argument with you unless about how I speak my language, unless you know a couple words and phrases. No kidding. No kidding. Americans pretending that they know more about Norway than actual Norwegians? That is just... It's all this arrogance and cockiness. I don't understand why Americans have to be this way. The left say thing drives me crazy. I have Amer I've had Americans buy our fresh left say while saying to their friend, this isn't real left say. This is some sort of modern version. Our recipe is from 1750. <laughs> Americans go to Norway and say that it's not, it's not authentic Norwegian bread. <laughs> oh my god, these are crazy. Did a year of exchange in the U.S. and I got questions like this. Okay, this is a Norwegian who was in the U.S. for a year. Americans asked, 
do polar bears wander around in the streets? Oh my god. <laughs> you know what? Again, at least they're asking. At least they're... <laughs> I could see some Americans actually thinking this. <laughs> um, do you live in actual houses or tree huts? Tree huts? Man, Americans really don't know anything about Norway, I think. They th do you live in a tree hut? Like a like a hut made out of like sticks and mud? Like what? Isn't Norway the capital of Sweden? What? What? Is Nor isn't Norway the capital of S That's insane. <laughs> That's insane. That is sad. I, if an American actually said that, oh my God. Oh, you're Norwegian. You must join our ski team. <laughs> well, you know what? That's the best thing so far in this whole discussion. That's the best ones. <laughs> I think that's kind of funny. Norwegians are like known for skiing. A lot of Norwegians are good at skiing. This is, a, this is like a compliment. You're Norwegian. You have to join our skiing team. <laughs> I mean, that not that true? <laughs> not all Norwegians ski, I understand. But uh, last one is fair, to be honest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Polar bears do wander the streets. Just in Svalbard, though, right? I mean, that is true. The ski team comment was right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Also, tree huts? Where do you think we are? Seriously, what? Huh. Oh my gosh. Um, let's take a look at another here. I spent some time in California, and I bet I met both extremes of intelligence. I speak pretty good English, with an accent that makes it difficult to place where I'm from. Some guessed Florida, which made me proud, since I'm Norwegian. When asked where I'm from, from I would say I'm from Oslo. This would be met with a blank expression, like they had no idea where that was. I mean, I gotta be honest, I'm not that surprised. Like, I, I know that sounds crazy, but I think a lot of Americans just don't know about Europe, don't know about Scandinavia. Couldn't point to Norway on a map, really. And, and prop, <laughs> don't even know what, like that Oslo is in Norway or the capital. I mean, it's, I know it sounds really crazy and sad, but that, I think we're in our own little American bubble and we don't really emphasize learning about other countries. So you end up with a lot of Americans not knowing really, really basic stuff. So I'd follow up with, I'm in Northern Europe. For some, the blank stare would continue and I would give up. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that's kind of, that's that's that is sad. That is sad. And I think with that, that's that's probably a good place to stop actually. This is I can only <laughs> I can only take so much of this. Um <laughs> I, can, I can only handle so much. It's really dumb American stuff. Uh <laughs> even though I'm American, this stuff makes me feel just sad for our country, but uh I have to say overall, this was pretty entertaining. I hope it was entertaining to Norwegians. I'm sorry. I apologize for all this crazy American talk. Uh, it confuses me as well, sometimes, truly. But uh, I, I enjoyed this <laughs> somewhat. Oh, anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a, a comment with your thoughts on the dumbest things Americans have ever said to Norwegians. That'd be very funny to hear about. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway and Norwegian culture, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.